other swagging players. It's your boy, Sax Montana, man, back out here with another story time. You feel me? Hey, drop a like on this video, dog. Right, like, like right now. If you don't drop a like on this video right now, your thumb's gonna fall off. You're never gonna be able to play 2K ever again. You feel me? So go ahead and drop that like. But anyway, we got another story time on deck, bro. The most embarrassing night of my life, bro. Of my life, bro. Just get ready, bro. Just, just get ready for this, bro. This story takes place back in 10th grade, you feel me? And a lot of my story times come from back when I was in high school or like right after I graduated high school because your boy was a straight wild, bro. I was a wild man, bro. I really thought I was a pimp out here. You, <laughs> I really thought I was a player out here, bro. I had girls, girls, girls all over the world, you feel me? But anyway, that's back when my space was popping, by the way. But anyway, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we gonna forget all of that. Let's get back into this story. I was in 10th grade, man. And like I said, bro, I felt like I was a little player, a little this, a little that, you feel me? But my whole life changed when all of, all of a sudden, bro, this family moved in across the street. Now, if y'all like me, the first thing you, you peep out when a new family move in on the block in the neighborhood, you try to see what this here for for the ladies, you feel me? You trying to see what they got available. You trying to see what they got in stock. And the first thing I noticed, they got, I think it was two daughters and a son, bro. Uh, the son was younger than me. One of the daughters was my age and she actually ended up going to high school with me. And the other daughter was older than me. I didn't know that at the time until I met her. She was older than me and she went to another high school somewhere else, you feel me? At this point, I see his two daughters. I'm trying to decide which one I'm gonna shoot that shot at, you feel me? Because some fresh meat on the block. They don't know your boy yet. They don't know how I get down, but they was about to find out. Now, the first thing I noticed was one of them girls had the like the, the most beautiful eyes at, at the time that I have ever seen, bro. And I'm like, yo, like I need that, you feel me? And it just so happens to be the girl that was older than me. Like I said, at the time I was in 10th grade, she was a senior in high school, you feel me? I ain't know that at the time, but we're going we gonna to get to that point. So I see her, you feel me? And I already know I want her. I got first dibs because she actually lived directly across the street from me. Like, I could walk out of my front door. And if I keep walking, I'll go across the street and be at her front door. Like, literally, directly across the street from me. Now, I don't know how our relationship started, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Your boy did get that, you feel me? Your boy did get that, you feel me? Your boy did get that, but I had a transition from getting that to hitting that. We gonna get there. But like I said, I don't even know how our relationship started, but like I know how like our first encounter happened. You feel me? I used to be in front of my house all of the time dribbling the basketball. It's not like I was trying to get better at ball. I used to like just playing basketball, dribbling the basketball. And I used to sometimes do it like late at night. And she used to come to the window because her room was like the front, you know what I'm saying, in the front of the house on the second floor. She used to come to the window like, boy, stop dribbling that basketball, you feel me? And I, you know, I used to be flirting back. Like, cause she ain't said it in a mean way. She was more like saying it in a playful way, you feel me? And I used to be flirting back with her. And kind of like our relationship kind of developed from that point until us actually being in an actual relationship. And that's when I found out that she was actually a senior. And I, you know what I'm saying? I told her the truth, I'm a sophomore, but you know what I'm saying? The boy drag was, the, the boy swag was on hunting, you heard? The boy, the boy swag was on hunters, you heard? Like, she couldn't turn me down, you know what I mean? Like, so I did end up getting her, you feel me? And I think I was 16 at the time. She was 18, and I feel like that kind of ruined the whole relationship, bro, because because she was older than me, I felt like she was super pretty. I, I like, I, I, want, I wanted her really bad. Like, I kind of put her on a pedestal coming into this relationship and we weren't equals in the relationship when you come into a relationship you want to be equal with your partner you feel me you don't want to feel like she's up up here and then you're down here because you're going to be doing a whole lot of things to compensate that space in between y'all you feel me and that's what your boy was doing like i was overly nice i was spending my little bread you know what i'm saying on her bro i used to be me bro oh my god bro this is so embarrassing i used to because my school was right around the corner i told you she went to a different school i used to come straight home from school sit on my front porch wait for her bus to come like her city bus to pull up drop her off then i used to walk to the bus stop meet her walk her to her house chill in front of her house with her to all day bro i was a simp bro i was a simp oh no oh no bro i'm just real hey hold up bro <laughs> wait a minute i'm literally yo i'm literally just now realizing i was a simp wow bro Wow, bro, I was shimming out, yo, I was simping out here, bro. But I, listen, bro, I, once I got right in my head, bro, all that simping, 
was done. <laughs> oh my God, bro. I'm trying to clean this up as best as I can, but I really, like thinking back on it, I really was a simp, bro, and I feel bad for myself. But nah, like I said, I used to be doing all of that stuff because I felt like she was an accomplishment for me, you feel me? Dating an older woman. I'm a sophomore, she a senior. She looked super pretty. Like, she, she, she had that thing, you feel me? And I'm like, bro, like, I really got that. I it felt like an accomplishment and I didn't want to mess it up. I didn't want to ruin it, so I was doing, like, I wasn't being myself. I was being, like, trying to be, like, the best version of myself, which isn't realistic, you feel me? Now that you know all of that, let's get to the most embarrassing moment of my life. Me and this girl have been together for maybe like a few months and we had never done it. Well, we used to like, you know, kiss and make out and do all touchy, touchy, all of that type of stuff. We have never gone all the, all the way, you feel me? And bro, I was trying because like I said, I got to go from the boy to the man. And to get to being the man, I had to, you know what I'm saying, get on up in there, you feel me? So that's what I was, that was what my goal was, which shouldn't be the case. Like, you know, like, I l listen, bro, this was so many years ago, and this was like my old way of thinking, but that's just how, you know what I'm saying, the situation played out. Now to finally get to that night, bro, a couple weeks before that night, some cousins come into town, you feel me? Some cousins from like down south, I remember I feel like she had a country accent. I don't remember exactly where she was from. She came to town, bro, when I say she had that, she had that chava, oh my God, bro. I, like I immediately focused in on that and then I immediately wanted her. And by this time I had already got cool with her, like her other sister, her, her little brother, you know what I'm saying? A few family members and stuff like that, you feel me? So I was I was in there, you know what I'm saying? I was in the building. So when a cousin come through and I'm over there, you know what I'm saying? Nobody think nothing of it because I'm always chilling anyway. But anyway, like I said, bro, one thing about the cousin though, she was feeling me super tough, like super tough. Like she was on me super tough. I ain't even gassed it, bro. I used to have, I used to be playing with her, by the way, we did get to the point to where we was kind of like flirting and stuff like that, even though she knew I was in a relationship with her cousin. We used to flirt and do all type of stuff, but I used to have her on a string, bro. Like whatever I wanted, I knew I could do whatever I, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it got to that point. So one night things escalate, bro. I get that invite upstairs. Now, mind you, this is my girl's house. So we go in the back of the house. We go in the back, 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 you feel me? And we about to get things cracking, you feel me? We about to get things cracking, you feel me? She pulled that big thing out. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Whoa! Flag on the play, boy. Hold up. What did I just say? Hold up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I wasn't talking, yo, relax. But I'm talking about that, you know what I'm saying? That round thing in the back. Not whatever y'all was thinking about. No. No, no, no. It wouldn't go down like that. But anyway, we get to a point to where, you know what I'm saying, things about to go down, bro. And here we are. The most embarrassing moment of my life, or so I thought. We get things, things about to go down, bro. And I couldn't get right, bro. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I couldn't get right, bro. I'm over here trying to do everything I can in my power to get right, you feel me? But it's just not working, bro. And trust me, I wanted to split so bad, bro. Like, I really, bro, so bad in my heart and in my soul. I wanted to so bad, but I literally, I could no matter what. I was trying everything. She was trying things, bro, and I just, it just wasn't working for me, bro. Like, it wasn't working. I'm like, bro, what's happening to me? Like, this has never happened to me before. What's going on? Wake up, bro. Wake up. Like, what are you doing? Then the worst part happened, bro. She rubbed me, rubbed me on my back. Told me so it's okay. We could try again next time, bro. I, bro, when I tell you, I just wanted to disappear off the face of the earth, bro. I just, I didn't want to exist. I know y'all went through a situation like that, bro. It just. Oh man, you gotta you gotta remember, bro. I'm acting like this big pimp, you know what I'm saying? Playing with her emotions, doing all of this, got her doing all of that, bro. And then it's time for me to finally cut, and I can't, bro. I can't get right. Oh my god, bro. Like that one, that one was a L. I would never bounce back from. That was the most embarrassing moment of my life for about like 10 minutes. You feel me? Because little did I know, things were definitely gonna get worse after that situation. I was ready to leave, bro. I was ready to go home. Uh, uh, get in my bed, put the covers over my head, and cry 
for the entire night because what I did was brought this honor upon my family, bro. Like what I did is, oh my God, bro. It was so embarrassing. And as I'm leaving, my girl comes out the room, bro. And I see her from my old babe. She said, oh, what you doing? I'm, oh, I was just in there playing the game with her, you know what I'm saying, her little brother and everything. She bought the story, sat, because she had no reason to think I was lying because she ain't know nothing about me and her cousin. So uh, she said, oh, no, come in the room with me for a minute, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, I go in the room. I'm not thinking nothing of it. I'm more focused on the fact that I just fumbled a huge bag to really think about what's going on in here. And plus, like I said, we had never gone to that level before. So I'm not even thinking about that with her right now. Out of nowhere, bro, I promise you. She got to the point to where she wanted to go. She was ready to go, bro. She took all everything. She's sitting in front of me. Again, bro, I couldn't get right. Oh, my, bro, back to back. Bro, I net, bro, back to back. How did, how did I go from this never happening to me in my life to this happening to me back to back, bro? I'm over here like, yo, please, bro, please wake up, bro. Please, for me, bro, please, we got to do this. Couldn't get right, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, get right. She trying to get me right. Nothing is happening. Nothing is moving. I'm, bro, I, bro, I swear to God, bro, ah, ah, bro I was, bro, I was, <laughs> I was upset. Then that transitioned to being the worst moment of my life, bro. Bro, how I fumbled two bags in one night bro i don't think that has ever happened in the history ever of the planet earth the fumble two bags in one night the same way with cousins bro i fumbled bro oh my god eventually after that me and the girl's relationship kind of fell apart i was too embarrassed to even try to be with the cousin like that bro so i ended up really fumbling both bags because i never oh man bro that was a tough situation. By the way, some more things happened with me and the girl that I was in a relationship with. If you want to know the story time of what actually ended our relationship, let me know down below in the comments and I got y'all. But the moral to the story is, bro, one, never come into a relationship where you feel like it's unbalanced, you feel me? And you feel like you got to compensate to make up for an unbalanced relationship. Always come into the relationship as an equal, you know what I'm saying? You got to be eye to eye with your partner, not looking up at them, you feel me? Also, don't be in a relationship where it's the other way, where you feel like someone got to compensate to be with you because you never want to be with somebody that's not being their true self. You feel me? If that makes sense to y'all. And also, don't feel bad if you did ever fumble a bag. You know what I'm saying? It happens to the best of us. I fumbled two in one night. You know what I'm saying? So it happens to the best of us, my guy. You feel me? Don't feel bad. Things always get better. You know what I'm saying? That moment may happen for like 10 minutes, but you can only got the rest of your life to live, bro. You can't be sulking on that. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's over, right? Just like the story time. It's over. You feel me? If you enjoyed this thing, go ahead and drop a like on it for me. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Wow, bro. I really fumbled those. I really fumbled those bags, man. Until next time, though. Real fans stay up and I am out. Swag team, bro. Zombie game cuz. Wow, that's embarrassing. I really talked about that. Wow. Got this black hand out of get me through this shit. They say go over that. I might get these niggas 10%. I'm a country man, not business man. That shit is off the grid. Off the map and shit might open up the bag and fucking deal. Like a bag of chips, you niggas think it crunch time, I'm a deal. No 20%, when my shit hit the charts, then it's a hit. It be made by friends. So